Hey y'all, it's Spiritual Life Coach 43, and I am here to give you a reading in regards to messages from your loved ones in heaven. This reading is going to be for the zodiac sign of Aries for the month of October year 2021. If you are new to my channel, welcome and blessings. Please do come right on in and join us. If you are a returning viewer, watcher, and or subscriber, you guys know how much I adore, love, and appreciate each and every one of you guys. I'm sending you guys prayers, love, and light, and abundance always. If you guys are cross watchers, please do come in and join us. You always have a place here at our channel right here. Much love and light to you guys and to all of us. Okay, please remember that when it comes to like tarot and oracle cards, it's all about the messages and the energy. Take what resonates, leave whatever doesn't. Remember, you guys all have free will. Always do what you guys feel is best. Please continue to keep my channel going and growing with likes, subscribes, shares. Um, thank you guys for the thumbs up and just all your beautiful comments and compliments, sharing your life and your stories. You guys are amazing and awesome. I do read them and I appreciate all the love and the support you guys give me. Um, your support matters a lot, so please don't ever forget that. If you are feeling generous and you guys would like to donate, I do have PayPal. The link is listed below in the description box along with my P.O. box. If you guys want to send me like presents and cool stuff, I'm always open to that. Thank you so much in advance. Everything you guys put into me, I'm putting back into you and this channel. Please know that. Okay, my email is there as well in the description box in case you guys just have like a little general question. So please don't hesitate um, to reach out. Okay, so thank you guys so much. All right, Aries, let's jump into your reading. I will be using two decks in your reading. Two very cool decks that I love very much. And I just want you guys to know I'm doing this reading to connect you guys with your loved ones from heaven. It's so important that we remember that they're always with us. They're just a thought away. Call out their name. They're a prayer away. They're a memory, a moment, a second away. They're always with you. And they do send signs. They send feathers. That's a huge sign for me when I have a loved one that's about to send me a message. I get a lot of birds and feathers around me. Um, a lot and I've gotten them a lot lately, but it makes sense. This is a month a very um, spiritual month for me and specifically today is the 16th So this is a very very spiritual day for me as well and yesterday the 15th So very spiritual month spiritual time of the year as well very busy time for me and very spiritual highly um, So I just want you guys to get peace from this reading as you get your messages from your loved ones and just remember that You know when it's our time. It's our time no matter what happens. We cannot stop it we can't prevent it because God is in control of all things. He knows best. He is the creator. He's the great I am. He made us and he knows what's best for us all. We're all on God's clock. Enjoy your life while you are here. Live the way your loved ones would have wanted you to live. Be free. Be liberated. Keep loving yourself. Keep loving God and never stop loving your loved ones. They have never stopped loving you. That is only elevated. Okay, so hope you guys get some peace. My condolences to anybody who's lost someone. Of course, I have. And especially in this month, many, many years ago, but it's something that's unforgettable. There is a positive way to get through it. And uh, if you guys need some tips, I do have a life coaching session that is for free uh, about how to cope with death. If you guys need that, please email me, reach out. That's what I'm here for as a tarot card reader and life coach. A lot of things I give for free, including like, you know, decks and my life coaching sessions. And a lot of these readings I give for free for you guys, because I love you guys so much. And I just want a more healed world. I want people to achieve healedness and happiness and you know a lot more healing in life all right um yeah so just reach out if you need that and if enough people ask for it through my email then i will just post it in the description box all right aries let's jump right into your reading we're going to start with the talking to heaven deck this is by doreen virtue and james van prog i can't express this enough doreen virtue is the mother of tarot i mean there every tarot reader has decks of hers okay you're gonna have them this is an incredibly important one for me. I wanted this one in particular because it has Doreen Virtue and James Van Prague. Both of them together is the dynamic duo. They're like the best of the best. In my opinion, they're, they're like, especially Doreen Virtue, she's the highest of the highest. I mean, she is number one. And James Van Prague, he's up there too. I mean, together, their work is just on another level of incredible. Okay, incredibleness is here. Magicalness. This is like, I love their messages. I love the books that come with their decks and I will be reading from the books and intuitively. Okay. Intuitively. Okay. There is no such thing as death is your first message. This is from the talking to heaven deck. Your loved ones are stepping forward to let you know that when they climb the ladder and went on to meet with emperor God and King Jesus, they seen their life very differently. They realize there's no death. You know, we always talk about, the death card in tarot, right? These are mediumship cards, but we talk about the death card in tarot, meaning 
you know, a transformation, a change. They have gone on to transfer into their next life. They're higher level beings now because they've connected to their soul. Okay. Their spirit. So if you look at this picture, you see a lot of souls going up to heaven. You know, when we think about heaven, we look up into the sky, you know, we look up. Okay. The body stays behind. Okay. But the soul goes on. So they get transformed into something higher into something better. This card reminds me a lot about time and clock. Time is so precious on this side because we have to focus on the past, the present, the future. We have to focus on getting to appointments. We have to focus on meeting deadlines and scheduling dates and getting things done. But on the other side, they're not focused on time. They're only living in the present. Okay. So it's like, your loved ones want you to be happier. Don't focus on the past so much. Live in the now. Just take the lessons that you learn from them, from yourself, past experiences together. Take those with you to make you better, to make you wholesome, to make you greater, and go forward with that, okay? Your loved ones want you to know that they love you, they care for you, and that love that they have for you is timeless. It's endless. That's never going to end or stop, okay? Death is just new life, rebirth, higher level living, spiritual ascension, ascending, ascending to heaven. That's a beautiful thing. You know, death brings a lot of tears, but you know what? There's a lot of laughter in how people lived as well. You know, you could have had a loved one I'm hearing that was really funny or witty, very chatty, or they had like corny jokes they used to crack, but it's like, when you think about it, it it's still funny. You know, and a lot of you will feel like even though your person and your loved ones and your mom and dad, your cousins, your uncles, your grandparents, your siblings, your children, your babies, you know, God forbid, your neighbors, your co-workers, anybody that you know, celebrities, anybody that you know, your friends, once they're gone, you miss them, but you should always feel a part of them. They left something for you to feel. They left something behind for you. Okay. That was their way of having you to connect with them still. And that's another way that you can connect because you'll always have that memory, that moment. Use that to keep yourself smiling, to keep yourself going. Use that as your push. At the bottom of the deck, Aries, you guys have, you have nothing to feel guilty about. It was their time to go. Remind yourself that it was their time. And when it's your time, it's your time. No doctor, no dentist, no helper, no assistant, no physician. No pharmacist, no amount of medicine can stop the inevitable. What will be, will be. Let go of guilt. Release it. Give it to God. Don't harbor old feelings. Don't hold on to pain. Don't hold on to arguments. Don't hold on to anything negative. Don't live in the past. Your loved ones want you to push forward, move into the present and the future. Live for now. Live for your next day, your better day. Be happy in this moment. Find your happiness. You are great. Find your greatness. Okay, Aries? Continue to ascend. Reach your own ascension in this life. Okay? Be your best self. Let go of guilt. Forgiveness is on all sides. Ask for that forgiveness. Know that your loved ones instantly forgive you. Even for the things that you are blaming yourself that you didn't even do wrong. They want you to stop that. Those are negative thoughts. They want you to switch those to positive thoughts and empower yourself. Switch that for love or a loving memory. Anytime you start to feel guilty about something, switch it for a loving memory. They're not worried about nothing. They're not worried about that. They don't have bills to pay. They're not worried about getting to certain appointments. Okay? They're serving God just on a higher level. Do your work while you're here. So when it's your time, you cross over and you see them again and you will see them again. When you need them, they're around. Pay attention to birds, to feathers. Pay attention to synchronicity. So a lot of numbers. Pay attention to their memorabilia. Some of you guys love to hug their sweater or their pillow. You like to smell their hats or their clothes. Do it. You like to comb your hair with their comb or smell their comb. You can still smell their scent. You're looking at their picture. Say a prayer. They hear you. If you have something you want to clear up with them, do it. They can hear you. They can feel you. And listen and feel most importantly for your answers sometimes they speak sometimes you'll dream them sometimes you'll see them and sometimes you'll just feel them smile more everybody needs to smile and laugh more let go of guilt and i keep seeing this card a lot a lot of people are holding on to guilt your loved ones want you to release that once and for all for good and keep telling yourself until you believe it 
love life, and live life. They want you to find nothing but the joy in life. That's it. The joy. Take your lessons as blessings and find your joy. Find your bliss. You deserve that, Aries. Okay, let's move forward to the messages from Heaven Deck. This is by Jackie Newcomb. And of course, all the decks that I use or I'm using today and always are listed in the description box below. Another deck that I love. This is one of my newer ones, but I've been using it a lot. Love it so much. So your loved ones are stepping forward to give you the following messages. Angel number 31 is here. Um, please look up angel number 31. It says problems that have held you back are being cleared. We are monitoring it. They're clearing away any troubles that you've had in love. Anybody who was mean or disrespectful or betrayed you, they are clearing a path. But you guys have to do your work too. You have to stand in your strength and do the work. Because oftentimes, these, these are your lessons, okay? These are part of your lessons to get these people who have been nothing but holding you back or challenging you in a negative way. You know what? You're going to turn all that into a positive and be better. Be graceful. Be more loving. If somebody's yelling at you, don't yell back. Lower your voice to something softer. That doesn't make you weak. It makes you more professional and mature. That's how you be the bigger person. By giving people what they need and not always what they want. Making sure that you solve problems by looking for a positive solution that works for everybody. And not just one way. Or not just giving in to somebody with their way. Your loved ones want you to take the lessons that you feel. Because they're sending you those feelings. Those are like answers. Okay, Aries? Use them, employ them, utilize them in your life to be better, to elevate, to grow. This is a growing time for you. You may find a lot of people you're cutting out of your life, exes, love interests, family members, so-called friends. You are finding your true strength, your fire. You're finding that fire, but you're using it in the right way. You're using it to remove people because they because you're too hot to handle. They can't touch you. They can't touch you. Your loved ones are surrounding you. They're sending angels towards you. Call them in for protection. Turn to them. Because the people who are not going God's way, you will see them cower. You will see them fall. You will see them come down to their knees. They're going to crumble. They're going to cry. They're going to break. And they're also going to test and try you. They're going to use cunning, conniving ways to pull you in. But you're bigger and better than that. And it doesn't matter if you have to cry through it. That's okay. As long as you get through it and do what you're supposed to do. Do your part. Your loved ones are going to send you dreams. They're going to send you messages. They're going to send you various types of advice in various ways. Pay attention to how you feel when you think of your loved ones. In certain situations, go to God. Go to your spiritual team. Go to your loved ones who are part of that spiritual team. Please look up angels number 31. And also, you guys have, as the overall energy, angel number 40. So 31 and 40 is here. They're going to help you clear away. To clear some clutter. A lot of you guys need to clean up your houses too. Throw away junk. Throw away junk. Clutter old things you just don't need. Get junk. I'm here. Get junk out the trunk too. So the car too. It says tune into the rhythm of nature. Let us connect together there. So you guys need to find a very peaceful place to pray and talk to your loved ones around nature, around trees, outside in front of like beautiful grass, in the air, under the sun, at the beach, at night, under the stars, in the daytime, under the sun. Talk to your loved ones. Talk to God. Talk to your spirit guides and your angels. Talk to your spiritual family. They're there. And your loved ones are always going to be there for you. They're always going to care, watch over you, and love you. They appreciate and applaud your strength because now you're learning how to use it the right way. I always say don't fight fire with fire. Fight fire with lava. Okay? Fight fire with water. Do it like the, um, you know, either get hotter to where they can't stand it or cool them off to where they're put out. You know what I mean? So use that water. Use, use all of your skill sets and abilities to make your life better. Remember, the, the, greatest, the greatest thing that we're here to do, the most important thing, is to get it right with God. Serve God by loving yourself, by loving others, by helping others, and being your best self. You know, adding wonderful things to the world. And you can do this, Aries. You will find peace in your meditation around water, especially around nature. I feel like your loved ones, somebody may have really loved like nature walks or being outside. They may have loved birds or pretty flowers. A lot of you could be gardeners or you guys need to get some kind of like flowers or roses, whether they're real or fake, gets you some plants. They're going to uplift your whole house, you know, some roses, 
Take care of yourself. Give yourself that self-love. Give yourself some flowers while you're here too. I'm also going to read from the book Aries, angel number 40. You guys may be connecting to Virgo as well, Pisces or Capricorn. Um, some of these same messages came out in Virgo. Just letting you guys know. And some of the other ones I named. You guys have 40. All right, your loved ones want you to know this following message. I am reading from the book for Aries spirit. Your loved ones want you to know, tune into the rhythm of nature. Let us connect together there. Your energy is a little low right now, but your loved ones will meet you in a place of high energy. Mother Earth, find your favorite place in nature. Maybe at the water's edge, a meadow, or sitting under an old, old tree. Or your loved ones, I'm sorry, and your loved ones, they will help to energize you there. Relax. You will sense and feel them in this place today. Together you will have mind-to-mind -mind telepathy. So your loved ones are going to reach out to give you messages. Pay attention to that. Okay? And don't feel guilty about anything. Just love your life and live it to the fullest. Okay? You deserve that. Okay, let me close your reading, Aries, with a message from, I just want to, I feel like I need to pull another message for you guys, it's interesting, I don't think I felt this way about any other reading, I feel like I got to pull one more message for you guys, let me pull one message, and I'm going to read it from the book, for Aries spirit, for Aries, for Aries. My spirit wants me to give you one more message. Yeah, just let go. Don't feel guilty about anything. All right, this one flipped over. Yeah, wow. So you guys have, I am sorry, please forgive me. So your loved ones may be saying that they're sorry. So you guys may have some past energy that you guys need to clear up. Just know that they're standing right next to you. They're around you and they're putting their hand up to you. So let bygones be bygones. Forgive each other. Let it go. Whatever the past was, let it be the past, okay? Um, it's time to just move forward. And they may be asking for forgiveness because maybe they feel like they didn't love you enough. Maybe they didn't show you enough. They do love you. They do miss you. Um, you may have ended on a disagreement or a bad argument or something may have gone wrong where you guys disagreed and it became a problem where maybe you guys ghosted each other or somebody went silent or um, there was bad blood there. But it's time to forgive each other because... All things have been forgiven. They're, they're moving on. So I just want to read this. It says, Now that I'm over here, I had a chance to review my life. I understand how my actions affected you, and I need to apologize so that both of our souls can move forward. You see, if either one of us is hanging on to guilt or resentment, it stalls our personal growth. Please know that at every moment, I was doing the very best that I could. I will now finally admit to you how frightened I was. I made an effort to appear strong, but underneath it all, I was scared of everything, including my life. I covered up my fears by closing my heart to feelings and emotions, and I know this hurts you quite a bit. I promise that I've now learned from this error, but I've also had to forgive and have compassion for myself. I ask that you please do the same and forgive me too. Your reading is very interesting. Um, Aries I feel like this is about a lot of forgiveness Like a lot of you need to forgive yourselves Forgive your person for how they lived Maybe they were on drugs Or alcoholics God forbid Or they did something to take themselves out of this world Which is never ever recommended There's always a way out There's always you know Greater good should always override anything Over anything that's negative Or on a low vibration But you know everybody's different Everybody thinks differently you know, although as humans, we share a lot of similarities, we still have our differences, you know, independently. So just know that your loved ones, they're sorry for anything they, they didn't say or anything that they didn't say or anything that they feel like they should have said. I feel like I'm getting a lot of messages. So I'm sorry if I'm tripping over words a lot. I'm getting a lot of ones. Your ring's a little bit different because I haven't had to pull another card for anybody else's. And I'm leaning towards reading. You have nothing to feel guilty about. And it's, it's the I am feeling. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. That's very interesting. I want to look back um, at you have nothing to feel guilty about because that's coming in. That's coming in heavy. I may need to read that one more time for whoever needed 
I feel like somebody really needs to hear this. So let me let me um, give you some more clarification and information. Yeah. It says, sweetheart, I see you torturing yourself with what if. Questions concerning my life, my health, and my passing. You wonder whether you could have intervened so that I'd still be in my physical body. I'm standing next to you. and see, you guys had that twice. Oh, my God. I wasn't going to show this card, but at the bottom of the deck when I reshuffled, look what card is here, you guys. You're not going to believe this. I'm telling you, even as tarot card readers, we still get shocked. We still get amazed, which is what we love about our job. Um, you see this? I don't know if you guys can read that, but it says, I am standing right next to you. In the passage I'm reading, it says, I'm standing next to you. Oh, my God. Right now, to soothe away these thoughts, it's so important for you to understand that you did nothing wrong, that my physical passing was divinely timed, and that you couldn't have changed anything. Please don't burden yourself with guilt any longer. Guilt is the complete waste of your earthly time, which is meant to be used in service of love. Guilt doesn't undo anything. I have forgiven myself for everything that I think I did or didn't do. But in the end, I learned that everything's already forgiven. And I pray that you also forgive yourself because you are so very loved and understood. They get you. They understand you. Let bygones be bygones. Love each other. Forgive each other. Move forward and be happy. <sighs> that was a lot. Okay, Aries, this has been your reading for the month of October, your 2021, in regards to messages from your loved ones in heaven. I hope these messages bring you guys a lot of peace, harmony, and the messages that you really need to hear, that your soul needs to hear. I feel, I, I feel like somebody's soul needed each and every one of these messages. So um, my condolences to all of us, to you guys. I know you guys have lost ones, loved ones, and um, that's always going to be challenging and difficult, but know that you're loved at all times. I hope the messages in this reading resonate with all of you or as many of you as humanly possible. I'm sending you all peace, love, serenity, joy, happiness, prosperity, abundance, and so much love and light. Always. God bless you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye, Aries.